Hey guys, what's up? Today we've got the Jelly Bam review for the Samsung Galaxy S2 GDI9100. So stay tuned for that. Hi again, we've got here the Jelly Bam ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 GDI9100. This is version 8.3 and as you can see it's got different transitions. Of course this is due to the different launcher and animations and effects put to it. So let's check out the system settings of the ROM. So if we scroll down We've got uh, ROM customization, advanced customization, and graphics customization. Let's check out ROM customization, BAM control. So here you can actually change everything from the general user interface to the lock screen. You can play around with the ribbons, the navigation bar, uh, navigation ring. You can change the, the buy controls. And yes, and yes, this includes the paranoid Android, uh, different user interfaces for the tablet, tablet, and uh, then the stock phone uh, user interface so you can play around with the slider the lock screen the status bar and yes there's halo here however it can't seem to get it working uh, properly but um, I'm sure you guys can figure it out uh, we've got Kronos clock here we've got um, uh, vibrations you can create your own vibrations S Pen gestures hardware keys permissions for per performance etc We've got BAM model in which you can play around with the different launchers. There's a Sony Z home launcher over here, which is kind of cool. And we've got uh, applications. I guess you can install and remove different applications, including system applications. Play around with the sounds. Yes, there, it comes with different. There's even a Galaxy S4 sound pack, for goodness sake, and a Zelda sound pack. Change the graphics, the fonts, and etc. Moving on, we've got the Paranoid Preferences, as this is similar to what you can get on the Paranoid Android Roam. You can play around with the launcher, of course. Um, BAM Cleaner, you can remove system applications, which is pretty handy. We've got BAM Persistence, in which uh, you can persist certain, let's say, the LCD uh, density. We've got the Holo BAM, which you can, as you can see, it changes or inverts the icon's colors. Uh, revert, of course, uh, themes, uh, wallpapers, and that's basically about it. We've got performance control in which you can play around with the performance, CPU frequency, and GPU of your graphics card and CPU. And apart from that, let's check out about phone. We've got it's Android 4.2.2, it's using uh, AOKP Build 6, Paranoid Android version 3.6, and of course, Jelly Bam version 8.3. So let's check out this app. It's the Android Tweaker app. I don't really recommend using this unless you have you know, extensive knowledge in tweaking or overclocking your phone. Uh, you can play around with this, you can force render UI. There's so much to do with this uh, application. And again, if you want to be safe, you can always, you can always uh, select, you can always select auto tweak here. In, if I were you, I wouldn't touch it on, on, unless you're willing to take the risk of destroying or ruining your phone in the process. But I, I don't like overclocking or underclocking the phone. I just don't want to ruin my phone as I plan on using it for the next few months. So this has been the Jelly Bam ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 GDI 9100. If you've got any questions, if you've got any requests, um, ROM requests, feel free to post them in the comments below. And if you've got any questions or hesitations, Feel free to post them too below. And don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Wired Mash. Visit wiredmash.com. And most of all, thanks for watching.